Well, I'm going to do something really different on this video than I've done in quite a while. I've been sticking with bowls, vases, and mugs pretty much. I did some, did some trays. This is also a Steve a Good pattern. And he has a wide range of different patterns. Uh, you can find just about anything you want in there. This is, uh, uh, he, I don't know what he calls it for sure, but it'll be in the, I have a link to it. Uh, but it's a, it's a cat face. And you cut out these individual pieces. And this is mahogany, which will darken when I uh, put a sealer on it or whatever. And this is the backing board. You glue that on there uh, in that diamond shape orientation. The whiskers stick out the side. And uh, he, had, he used three quarter for a backing board. And this is a piece of oak. Maybe that's white oak. It came in a seconds package. It's five sixteenths thick. It was a real wide board, like 12 inches wide. And that's the, uh, the largest board I had to make that, cut that piece out of. And that's eight inch square. So uh, I'm going to cut this out, glue it on there. And I'm going to put a hanger on it so it can hang it on the wall. And I've got this in mind for somebody, possibly as a birthday present. Uh, young girl that likes cats. Well, I'm not sure this is going to be hers, but I kind of got that in mind as I make it. And uh, it's going to be a different project. I, I kind of like to change up now and then. I'm moving away from bowls a little bit. I'm not going to move completely away from bowls. But I'm going to get off into some other things. It takes less time here during the summer because I'm very busy outside. And uh, I, I kind of want to design some of my own bowl ideas and play with some things there, kind of while I'm not filming to get some, maybe get my own, uh, my own pattern, my own bowl ideas. So anyway, I'm gonna, I've got to drill these two little spots. I believe that's the only thing I have to drill. I'm going to drill those. I'm probably going to cut that with a number three. It's pretty fine cuts in some places. I've got to, these are all external cuts except for that. So uh, I'll get that drilled. I'll get over, put a new blade in the saw, and I'll cut this out. Should be fairly simple and quick. Okay, well, I got it cut out. The uh, mahogany just wasn't enough contrast with that oak. I was afraid of that. I thought when I put a finish on it, it might bring it out a little bit. But I uh, tested a piece, uh, some scrap against it, and it just doesn't didn't give enough contrast. So I got some stain and put on it. And that's just sitting there. I'm kind of been playing with it, trying to make it look right. And uh, so now I got to glue it on. And I'm thinking about putting something in there because it really helps. You look at this. It really helps, I think, to have those little spots visible. They don't show through very well through that thick. I might, might lighten that up with something in there, give that pupil in that eye. I think that helps. Uh, it's okay, but I'm not really crazy about it at this point. But I'm going to keep working with it and 
I'll see if I can glue it on and make it look like something. Okay, so I've played with it and played with it and uh, got it looking better. What I did is I went and printed out this, this one that he had in there in the pattern and I printed it to size to fit this board and then I overlaid it on there and kind of marked where they went especially to get these whiskers and getting this side of the face outlined properly is is uh, very important and his you, know, you look at that I can see the cat face I just couldn't do it looking here though it helps if you have it leaned up this is flat printed surface this has that quarter inch raised uh, material there I think that kind of breaks it up if you're looking head dead on on it it looks pretty good it's just laying on there it's not glued on but that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna carefully glue that on and get them in the right spot and then I'm gonna put some kind of a finish on it and uh, put a hanger on it I think I'll be done with it I finally got it looking where it's acceptable still not perfectly happy with it but it's getting better uh, so anyway, I'll get a glue that on and Give that a chance to sit, and then we'll finish it. Well, there it is. I think it works. It looks it looks pretty good. I'll, I'll show a photo of it hanging on the, the wall in the kitchen. It's uh, got a yellow wall that shows up in good front of the yellow paint on that wall. I'll throw a photo of that up there. Uh, came out better than you know, I thought it would. I had a lot of trouble getting it to look the way I wanted to. But there it is, and I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. Once you get it right, uh, I think it looks good. Uh, what would I do different if I did this again? I would probably, I would not use mahogany. Uh, that's what I had as far as a dark wood. I didn't, I'm, I'm getting low on the darker woods. And I thought it might darken up with a, with a little finish, but it didn't. So, uh, and it's also kind of fragile when you get real thin areas like the end of those whiskers. Uh, you cut it thin, it's kind of fragile. I'd probably use a hard wood. I might even use a thinner wood. I think it would look look good with a thinner wood. Uh, and I'm, I didn't use the wood like Steve said. Uh, he said use a three-quarter inch for this backer plate. I used what I had. I didn't want to use that much three-quarter inch. What I had was dark wood anyway in a three-quarter inch. So anyway, uh, I made it work. And I'm kind of happy with it now. I was about ready to abandon it there at one time. So anyway... I hope you like that. If you do, hit the like button. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, I'm kind of hitting that point where I'm so busy outside, I don't plan ahead very well <clears throat> for these YouTube videos. But I'll come up with something. I'm working on my own idea for designing bowls and uh, some other things. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.